Hello and welcome to Excel with Mark and today we're going to be looking at how we can easily show you how to calculate the difference between two dates using Excel. By the end of this tutorial I'm hoping that you're going to be able to get two numbers and work out the years, months and dates between them two days. So let's have a look at how we can do this. Out of the methods available today we're going to be using the simplest and what I believe to be the quickest way that we can use to calculate these differences and the best function for that that I believe is the date diff. And I'm going to walk you through how we can do that now. So imagine that you're sitting down in front of your computer looking at an Excel spreadsheet. And you can pick a cell where you want to, the result to show up. Now what I want you to do is type in the equal sign and start typing date diff. Then enter the start date. Add a comma. And there's no, to finish put the end date. But there's a key part. At the end of the second comma we need to type in the quotation marks and then the Y. So this signifies that you want to put it as years because we want to find out how many complete years have passed between those two dates. So now we're going to close the parentheses and hit enter. And there you have it. The beauty of this function is you can easily use it on other calculations. Just click and drag this little square at the bottom right hand corner of the cell with a formula to fill in the other rows. Excel is going to automatically calculate them numbers for your completed years for each of these dates. We're going to look at calculating the different months and days. We're going to use the exact same formula, which is date diff function, and we're going to put a slight tweak into it. Again, picture yourself in front of your computer, and we're going to click the target cell, type in the equal sign, and then we're going to put date diff, followed by the start date, a comma, and the end date. This time, instead of the Y, we're going to type in M. So we're going to do the same again, putting the quotation marks, the M for months, and then close the quotation marks. Uh, because we want to know the number of complete months and then we're going to use the close parentheses and hit enter and your results should appear there. And now to find the number of complete days it's as straightforward as before. Start with the equal sign, date diff, start, end, separate it by commas. To wrap up the formula we just change that to a D now for days and close the parentheses by pressing enter and hopefully you should have your answer. This method should work like a charm for you in calculating the difference between the dates in any table uh, with time or date. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to show your appreciation with a little thumbs up for us. And be sure to explore other videos and tutorials. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.